For centuries, they've been an iconic part of the California landscape, but our majestic redwoods are struggling. Itai Hot explains why their survival is so important to ours. To understand why redwoods have captivated our imagination for centuries, just drive a few minutes from the hustle and bustle of Oakland to Joaquin Miller Park and look up. There's just something about them that when you're in the forest, they just dwarf you and you feel so humbled by them. Rob Lighty is a retired ecologist and a member of a nonprofit called Friends of Sausal Creek. He says this redwood forest in the Oakland Hills is rooted in history. These redwoods that you see now, their parents were around when the Roman Empire was around. That's how long they've been here. But these days, these majestic trees, among the oldest in the world, are struggling. They're being loved to death, basically. This park was set up in the 1950s ostensibly to protect these trees, but because it's on uh, the edge of a very dense urban area, it gets a lot of use. For the last decade, Rob and his team have been racing against the clock, restoring the forest's essential ground vegetation and adding rails to keep park visitors away from the tree's roots. Once the trampling is reduced and people stay on the trail, the forest is naturally regenerative. It's a very resilient forest if you give it the chance to restore itself, if you will. But that might not be enough. As temperatures increase due to climate change, coastal fog, essential to these trees' survival, has been eroding. Meanwhile, wildfires have become more frequent and more intense. The Redwood Range is 450 miles. Deborah Zierton works at Save the Redwoods League. She says these trees remove more carbon from the atmosphere per acre than any other forest on Earth. Because most redwoods are on private land, her organization has been buying up hundreds of acres of trees as a way to protect them. How quickly are we losing these redwoods? Well, you know, we only have about 5% of the old growth redwood forests left. So much of those old ancient trees were cut down. The good news, Rob says, with a little TLC, these redwoods could be here for centuries to come. If it's managed properly and it's healthy, and it's allowed to do what it does, it's an amazing solution or contribution to, you know, climate change. And while he's optimistic, he's keenly aware that these ancient trees are not out of the woods just yet. All right, one big victory. Back in July, we told you how Save the Redwoods League signed an agreement to protect a 394-acre redwood forest near Guerneville, and that includes the 2,000-year-old Clar tree, which is believed to be the tallest living redwood in Sonoma County.